welcome back to another adventure. We're uh, climbing Mount Everest. I don't know what happened, but all the snow got melted. The sun must have come out over here, melted everything. Check out, check out where we're at. Panoramic views. Look at that, the ocean behind me. Ain't that something? This is uh, about five minutes I've been outside of my back door. Walked out my back door and within five minutes, I'm right here. I'm right here on a little adventure. Hoping I don't get uh, eaten by the Mexican Sasquatch. Yeah, it's been spotted out here. Mexican Sasquatch, Bigfoot. We're hiking up on this mountain. I'll show you where we're going here in just a moment. I don't want to run into any rattlesnakes, but if I do, I'll let you let you see it. There, uh, the last one I came across was a black one. It's a black rattlesnake. Check this out. We're, we're coming up into the the shade of the mountain, which is nice, but it means the sun will start setting soon, and that's when Count Dracula comes out. I don't want to be up here when he he would get climbs out of these caves. Check out all these caves. Oh. All right, so I think uh, just go right up over this. I'm trying to get up into there somewhere. That's my goal, so. And uh, I think the sun's, we're losing the sun. There's a, Island, I don't think I've seen that before. Hey, can you see that island back there? I don't know if you can see it. It's there it is, you see it? That's faint. I don't think I've ever seen that island. I'm gonna have to go fish that island. Better subscribe, I plan on fishing it. I'm gonna bring my boat here and at least go on adventure. You know, maybe, maybe it's a deserted island, you know, with a bunch of mermaids that won't eat you. I think there's a mountain lion track here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that looks like to me. That's not stopping me from going up this ridge though that looks like an indentation of a mountain lion to me there's been bighorn sheep spotted up here several times and like antelope and deer and stuff so the likeliness is that track is actually a uh, one of these grazing animals not not a predator like a mountain lion but you know where the where the grazing animals are predators aren't too far behind we'll we'll at least go and investigate this and then come on down yeah i could easily see back in the day native americans using this as a refuge from the storms
almost looks like something back there. I seriously doubt it is, but now I gotta check. I don't know what that is, but I've gotta check. There was something back in here. What is it? It's just make sure there ain't no snake in here. Anytime you're gonna do something like this where you're gonna crawl into a little cavern like this, or anything, even just picking up a piece of wood in your backyard in a desert, you really need to look very, very closely. I don't see anything in here, but a small little snake is a deadly snake. They, they're truly, you know, it doesn't take a big snake to kill you. What I, what I see back here is, I'm sure it's nothing. I thought it was pottery first, but I, I just think it's a piece of rock that chipped off of this. But you know, you don't check something out way in the back like this. What if it's a, a jade knife or you know an Indian artifact or something? So I'm gonna crawl in here and get it. Yeah, just a waste of time. That's all it was, false alarm. I thought I found something cool. I'm not a an animal specialist, but I'm pretty sure that's just, that's some big turds though, man. What is that? Let's see, this is what I've zeroed in on, right? Yeah, this looks like, it, yeah, that's, that is bighorn sheep poop. So there you have it. I'm playing in bighorn sheep poop. That's what that was. That was without a doubt not a predator feces because if it was, there would be bones and there'd be, there'd be something else other than grass and dirt and that's all that was, was a bunch of grass in there. But it's kind of cool, you can see, look, I'm standing up in this. So it's, it's a lot bigger than it looks from down at my house. I look at this all the time from my house, because right here's my house. So I often look up here and I see this little cave here, this little cavern. There's my house. So from the back porch, whatnot, I've, I'm often looking at this cavern that I'm in now. But that's, that's where I'm at. So we, we went on a little adventure, not very far from my house, as you can see. It's pretty much my backyard. And uh, we're right here. We are on a cliff, that's for sure. Look at this, this is a sheer cliff pretty much right off that. You see right off that edge, it's, it's gotta be 50 plus feet if not more. Maybe, yeah, I would say maybe 75 feet. And it's all loose rock. So I've been grabbing onto these branches like this. It's, it's, it's smart, I mean this wouldn't save your life if you slipped but it might give you enough time to get another footing in. So I'm gonna kind of walk around this little corner here and see if I can get up over this edge. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I gotta go check this one out too. Yeah, see I can crawl up around this right here and go up over the edge too. Go around that ledge and back up it. You can definitely do that, but Let's just crawl up here more. Oh. I already looked over back in there, but we'll get a better scope. This is really cool. Very cool. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for my epic adventure here. It, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. We'll see you on the next one. And thank you for watching my videos. And please, if you like these 
little adventures. If you consider subscribing to my channel and smashing the like button. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one. I'm trying to find the best way back home. I can go down this way, the mountain here behind me. That's a different path. Or I can come back down this way behind me to get back home. Which way would you go? Post your comment, tell me. Because I might get lost. <laughs>